Hi, my name is David Aidozi, and in this video I will show how I have integrated SOUP inside of main eye. What is SOUP? SOUP is a set of nodes that increase the procedural workflow inside of Maya. Before start, I want to recommend you to update the last version of main 9, in this case the 1.3.8 I have already installed. In the link below the video you can download the last version of my configurations. Very good. First of all I want to show you, uh, I think I already show in a previous video um, I create a Joe polygon and uh, from this sphere I want to extract the UV for use it uh, for editing it by in the viewport. So I press Z, let him press the right mouse button, UV mapping, UV to mesh. Very good. As you can see, as you can see from the outliner, now there is a original object is hide the UV editable mesh directly inside of the of the sphere and the sphere the, the resulting sphere that can uh, use this uv edited as you can i, I want to show you that uh, the ability to see how this mesh extracted from uh, uh, from soap is uh, very similar is identically to the um, to the uv ones alt 4 as you can see I can reselect my object and as you can see the two UVs are exactly identical this work this uh, is uh, valid for any kind of geometry in this case as you can see a cube can run again my script this is the UV for the cube or for example for Taurus here and of course again UV mesh very very fast and easy after that I can add a material I use a shift T and apply for example a blind and to the color value of, of the blind I want to connect a check press 6 on the keyboard I can see my UV I'm oh, sorry my texturing and I can see my check. Now I can add it to another one. In this way every my object uh, using the same uh, the same the same texture. Start I want to start from here on protect my vertex soft selection with the B key as I, as I already show in a previous video I can define and change the UV directly from here. This of course is valid for whole holder object. For example, if I uh, make this a little bit more longer, uh, I can define and change the position and the uh, and the dimension of the of the UV directly as you can see from this position very good but how exactly work this? I want to uh, focusing, uh, focus my attention only to these two elements and uh, I want to start from this element when I press ALT and 3 I can open my node editor and from here I can press Z to use my uh, contextual hotkey to expand uh, the connections and the node that can drive this uh, this connection. As you can see, everything is uh, absolutely procedural. I have the original sphere that have generated the objects. I have the sphere. Sorry, this is the the, the creation node for the the original sphere mesh, and uh, from here. I can drive my map to mesh. This uh, let you let me sorry connect this uh, shape to this another shape, the, the unwrap shape, and the two ones, the original ones and the wrapped ones, are blending together by this mesh to map node, and all this graph 
is connected and ending in this visible mesh. Of course, if I change some, some technical aspect of this object, as you can see, my uh, my graph, my network is uh, act is automatically updated. So now I can have uh, uh, different meshes, but a different UV2. Very good. I want to show you another example of the powerful of uh, of uh, soup by try to shattering an object. If I create, for example, a cube in this position and uh, use my Z and the right mouse button, I can shutter the geometry. In this case, the, sh the shutter using sub nodes, uh, sub network, for uh, um, change the, the structure of the, of the geometry, and in this case, to, to, to shutter it, to break it. I can go under Alt and 3, set my object plus Z again to show the old graph and as you can see I have the original uh, position node, I have my cube, polycube shape, the scatter, the scatter lets you create inside of the volume of the of the of the of the object uh, a, a volumetric dots, a scatter that's that lets you break the geometry and in handling the new polygonal object. So this is the, the original poly, polygonal object. Uh, this is the shattered one. If I go under render legacy viewport and press 4, I can see on inside of the of the of the of the, of the shattering elements uh, these little dots. This is the scatter volumetric scatter. How I can increase or decrease the number of sh of, of shutter is very simple. I need to select the scatter node, Control A to have access to this panel and <coughs> increase the point density. When the point density is increased, I have more piece inside of the shutter. But uh, if my point is uh, is uh, all right, is 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 minor. I, I I lower the value. As you can see, I have less dots. Remember, uh, the number of of the shutter elements is relative to the to the volume to the to the uh, to the dimension of the of the, uh, of the of the shape. So if you, if your shape is more big, you probably need uh, uh, eig make this value higher. It's very, it's very fast, and as you can see, another time how everything is procedural. I can recreate, redefine the elements, and continue to work with it. After that, I can select my object, press Z and right mouse button, and for example, separate the elements for uh, uh, create, as you can see, um, a separated elements. So you can uh, drive any one of those uh, elements in independence. The dot inside of the of the shattering elements. Another thing I have had I have uh, taken from soap uh, is uh, the ability to bake uh, uh, the positional vertex in a simulation or in an animation. This lets you convert uh, an animation in um, in sorry a simulation, for example, into an animation driven by the uh, joint. I will show you here. First thing I do is create a simple cube. After that, I create a smooth node. From here, I want to increase a little bit my polygons. I want to delete my history and uh, uh, freeze the transformation. Control Enter, and I want to make this a little bit up here, as you can see here. After that, I want to create a plane. No, I don't want a plane. Sorry, I want to create a the four, uh, sorry, um, a dynamics element, an end clot, and uh, from here I need to make collide this object with the ground plane. So, for do that, I take nucleus, create uh, control A from opening the attribute editor and check use plane. 
dot uh, I give my play button and as, as as you can see now my simulation is run in correct way very simple very easy I rise a little bit my uh, screen my uh, my frames my total number of, of playback frame select my geometry press uh, another time Z and right mouse button and uh, give uh, the bake the form to joints command. As you can see, I have had a little window that lets you, uh, that's uh, warning you that uh, uh, this this operation can be long. This is because uh, the system uh, need to create uh, the joints that drive the simulation have to uh, skinning the object, and after who and after that uh, have the, the need to replay back and bake to the to the joint and, and so to the vertex the simulation so I won't continue yes at this point uh, the first part of the simulator of, of the of the command is uh, uh, attaching the new joints to the to the sphere after that uh, uh, the system run up the simulation and try to match the position of the original vertex in the in the dynamic simulation to the uh, joints. As you can see now, it's in playback. All right, very good. Everything is ready. Now I have two objects. The first one is the original one. This object is the is, is the one I have simulated and the one I can, I can continue to simulate by using the nucleus solver. I can hide the second one is the one skinned to the joints as you can see there are, there are a lot of joints starting from zero work position that uh, take uh, a little piece of geometry in consideration in this case uh, I have uh, uh, a very high number of joints and when I use the scroll, as you can see now, I don't need to re-simulate this, uh, this cloth, but I can only use it by uh, moving my timeline as the joints drive the simulation. Every joint, of course, have uh, a keyframe, and if I go under Alt and uh, um, 5, you can see now all this joint and driven by an uh, animation curve. Very powerful way to bake, uh, for example, for a video game, uh, for bake um, animation of a cloth, uh, or a drop, or uh, um, any kind of, uh, any kind of course, of, uh, of a soft body. The last thing I want to show you, I have created, I've extracted and uh, integrate directly in main 9 from SOAP is the ability to bake uh, into a FK joint, so into a joint uh, uh, hierarchy. Um, the actually uh, the actually deformation structure of an object. I will show immediately. I can create a cube. Very good. I want to add some division in the depth, in the width, and in the height. All right. After that, I enable my um, constraint to the middle of the volume, the snap reactor. I can go in the top view. I can create my joint. All right. Great. And give enter to close the tool and now press four to see in wireframe the joint inside of the cage so i take the joint the, the meshes i can press z to have a context hold key that let you bind the skin but now i have make a little bit of error because i don't want a soft skin as you can see here i want to add a rigid bind so uh, from my 2015 uh, it's not more available the the bind the, the rigid bind so you need to uh, configure it the smooth bind in uh, in a particular way or you can use uh, uh, my contextual American menu, press Z and the right mouse button, as, as you can see in the hast position I have the rigid bind, so directly I can rigid bind my meshes. But why I want you 
rigid bind that before because I want to show you another deformer so at this point uh, my my join chain is binding on the on the geometry by using the rigid bind of course I can come back in the time by using command ctrl Z and uh, select the thing my uh, my geometry now I want to add uh, a delta mesh delta mesh is a new deformer for in uh, that, that, that there is uh, adding by half to the scheme in Maya 2016 that lets you uh, that analyze our hard bind in this case and try to make it soft is a, is, uh, delta mesh is, a, is similar to a, uh, interpolation between the weight of the of the joints so I press Z right mouse button deformers delta mesh now I have my soft skin sorry I have my hard bind my rigid bind joint dry, sorry <laughs> the geometry is driven by joints the joint driven the geometry by using the uh, the rigid bind and the uh, delta mesh as you can see here in my inputs list uh, that's it uh, I have the polycube the tweak node the rigid bind and the delta mesh now what I want is uh, convert every every deformer in this case the delta mesh and the rigid bind into a single smooth bind I want to try this you need to select the the uh, root joint, the geometry, press Z and right mouse button, and to the, and to the uh, west, you have bake the form to FK. So I can bake the, the list of actually deformation, of actually deform, deformer, inside of the, uh, of the, of the uh, joint hierarchy. Very good. It's very fast in this case, and you can see now I have only one skin cluster. No more. Um, the, there is no more tweak node. No more uh, rigid bind. No more delta mesh. But only a classical skin cluster. And uh, this is, this skin cluster work exactly as you saw before. Uh, before I, when I use uh, the deformer, as you can as you can see before, it's very useful when you want to convert delta mesh into the into a into a smooth bind. Very good. By the way, is of course possible using uh, the uh, soup plugin uh, in a classical way. But uh, before that, you need to load up. This is because uh, I've decided for May 9 to only run up the real crucial um, plugin to uh, make the memory com memory footprint uh, a little bit lower and uh, make my uh, load faster in startup. So, did you remember bef before you can use soup, you need to load up? Press Z, the left mouse button, plugin managers, soup. Soup is loaded, and now I can enable my shelf. I can go here where, it's, where are these dots, the right mouse button, open up the shelf. And as you can see in, from this release, the first shelf you have when you enable the shelf is the soup shelf. From that, from, that, from that position, you can have access to all the nodes, to all the utility, and the ability to connect the elements you have selected in an automatic way. I hope uh, you find everything useful, and uh, uh, 